أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم نحن نقص عليك نبأهم بالحق إنهم فتية آمنوا بربهم وزدناهم هدى وربطنا على قلوبهم إذ قاموا فقالوا ربنا رب السماوات والأرض لن ندعو من دونه إلها لقد قلنا إذا شططا هؤلاء قوم اتخذوا من دونه آلهة لولا يأتون عليهم بسلطان بين فمن أظلم ممن افترى على الله كذبا وإذ اعتزلتموهم وما يعبدون إلا الله فأو إلى الكهف ينشر لكم ربكم من رحمته ويهيئ لكم من نمركم مرفقا Good morning everyone. My name is Todd Larson. I'm the Chancellor of American University of Sharjah and it's a great honor for me to welcome everybody to today's festive event. We're so excited to celebrate the graduates in front of us. And it's also my great further honor at this time to ask for the remarks of Her Excellency Sheikha Badur bin Sultan bin Mohammed Al Qasimi, the president of AUS. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Yus'idni an urahib bikum jami'an al-yawm. Duyufina al-kiram, asada a'adha majlis al-umana, abnauna wa banatuna al-khirrijin wal-khirrijat fi dufat December 2023. وأخص بالترحيب أيضا أمهات وآباء وأصدقاء خريجينا قبل أيام قليلة احتفلنا بعيد الاتحاد الثاني والخمسين وبمسيرة التميز والريادة والازدهار لدولة الإمارات العربية المتحدة التي وضعت التعليم والابتكار دائما في مقدمة أولوياتها لتواصل التقدم والتطوير بطموح متجدد مع التمسك بقيمنا وهويتنا الثقافية وتراثنا الأصيل واليوم نحتفل بكم أنتم خريجي وخريجات الجامعة الأمريكية بالشارقة المنارة التعليمية المزدهرة التي تعكس قيم وتطلعات إمارتنا الغالية وتستند في نهجها إلى الرؤية الحكيمة لصاحب السمو الشيخ الدكتور سلطان بن محمد القاسمي عضو المجلس الأعلى حاكم الشارقة وأملنا أن تكون مسيرة دولتنا الملهمة والتجربة الرائدة لإمارة الشارقة في المجال التربوي حافزاً أساسياً لكم لتحقق المزيد من النجاح والإنجازات في مجالات تخصصكم وتحدث تأثيرا إيجابيا في مجتمعاتكم وبلدانكم وتكون روادا للابتكار والتطوير وتسهم في بناء مستقبل أفضل للجميع Esteemed guests, members of the board of trustees, faculty, colleagues, proud parents and families and dear class of 2023 graduates.
It's your graduation. It's your day. Before I celebrate you, I want to first acknowledge and celebrate the people who have spent years, months, and days helping you transform your young, bright minds into confident, capable individuals ready to take on the world. <laughs> your parents, our faculty, our staff, and mentors have worked tirelessly to guide and nurture your potential and prepare you for your new journey. So may I ask the parents, the faculty, and our university staff to please stand up. Thank you for showing them the gratitude that they deserve. And speaking of gratitude, I want to emphasize the importance of starting your life's journey with a sense of gratitude. In fact, beginning each day with gratitude will be the greatest gift you can give yourself. Your life is about to get busy really busy. It will have ups and downs, unexpected twists and turns, and in the midst of noise, a genuine sense of gratitude will serve as an anchor, providing you with the strength and energy to go on. And today, I want to apply my advice to you on myself. I'm grateful for you, our dear students and graduates. I'm grateful for your hard work, your passion, your energy, and commitment to learn and grow. Every time I see you in the hallways of AUS, I feel energized, I feel hopeful. Your enthusiasm is infectious, and it reminds me of the endless possibilities that await you. You embody the spirit and values of AUS, curiosity, resilience, and limitless potential. You are AUS, and AUS is you. I know you will carry the AUS spirit with you when you leave today, wherever your paths may lead. I have heard heartwarming stories from our alumni who were inspired by their time at AUS and went on to achieve remarkable success in their professional endeavors, becoming trailblazers in their respective industries and champions of community service. When I hear those stories, I feel proud. I feel grateful for His Highness Sheikh Dr. Sultan bin Mohammed Al Qasimi, Supreme Council Member and Ruler of Sharjah, for his visionary leadership in establishing AUS and his unwavering commitment to its growth over the past 25 years. I also feel committed to strengthening our AUS community inside AUS and beyond. One of my goals as AUS president is to create opportunities for you to stay connected to AUS, whether through our alumni networks, mentorship programs, or ongoing collaborations. My aim is to ensure that the bonds you form during your days at AUS remain strong, allowing you to continue supporting and inspiring each other long after graduation. While gratitude will ground you during these tough times, resilience will help you navigate through turbulence. And resilience is something that you are no strangers to. Each one of you arrived at AUS fresh from high school. And I'm certain that the first few months and years were not the easiest. You encountered challenges, setbacks, 
and moments of doubt. But you persevered and stayed the course, and today you stand here to celebrate the fruits of your resilience. What I want you to remember is that these past few years of your life have been a dress rehearsal for the many years to come. In the future, there will be moments when you feel like giving up due to challenges and setbacks. During those moments, I want you to reflect on your time here at AUS. Remember when you contemplated dropping that class, changing your major, or even avoiding that one professor who seemed to have a knack for surprise quizzes, but you made it through. And if you can overcome these obstacles, you can overcome anything. Dear graduates, <laughs> dear graduates, while you now have the technical and academic knowledge to do well in your careers, when you start working with people in real life, you will discover that soft human skills such as resilience, communication, adaptability, and collaboration will make you stand out in a crowd and help you create the kind of career you dream of. You're heading into a world that will be dominated by algorithms, artificial intelligence, and robots, and your human skills will become the primary factor in your professional success. Therefore, I encourage you to keep developing these skills. Learn how to foster strong, healthy human relationships. Learn to collaborate effectively and maintain a can-do attitude. These qualities will help you build something amazing outside this campus, not just for yourself, but for everyone around you. I look forward to welcoming you back here as members of our strong alumni community, or perhaps as part of the AUS family. Until then, remember to maintain an attitude of gratitude. Remind yourself to be resilient in the face of setbacks and cultivate the human skills that will give you significant advantage in your future career. Congratulations, class of 2023. And before I conclude, I kindly request everyone to stand up again and give a warm and well-deserved round of applause to our graduates. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. Fantastic. So in addition to Her Excellency, I want to recognize at this time several board of trustees members who are present today. We have Trustee Abhijit Chowdhury with us. We have Trustee Badur al Rakbani with us. We have Trustee Dr. Nawal al Husseini with us. And we have Trustee Sheikh Sultan Saud al Qasimi with us. Thank you so much, all of you, for everything you do for AUS. So good day, everyone, again. Your Excellency Sheikha Boudour, President of the American University of Sharjah, honored members of the Board of Trustees, Excellencies, faculty and staff, family and friends, and of course, and most importantly, the class of fall 2023. 
It gives me very great pleasure to welcome everyone to our commencement ceremony this fall. I particularly want to graduate our grad, uh, congratulate our graduates on their achievement, which we're here to celebrate. At the time we meet here today, I believe we see several indicators around the world of why access to high quality and holistic education, such as we offer here at AUS, is such a privilege and why it's so important. This importance transcends the impact it has on the lives of our graduates and their families, although as we've seen, the fulfillment of our graduates' dreams and their ability to provide for their families, make their contributions to society, and, and also to help those who depend on them is assuredly a personal and very vital consideration. But the greater importance to which I fear, uh, I refer, however, has more to do with the broader contributions our graduates will make to an informed citizenry and a healthy society. As you know, we seek to prepare graduates of AUS for the roles they will play in caring for our communities, both local and global, and to prepare them for ethical leadership that's rooted not only in a deep understanding of a scholarly area, but also a practical understanding of how that knowledge will be used and its implications in the broader world. So whether we speak of violent conflicts around the world that distress all of us, or deficits in food, water, and shelter that are caused by inequity and migration challenges, or to the climate strains that we're very focused on, particularly now with COP28, we're increasingly experiencing the challenges associated with that each passing year. In all of these, we can find examples where literally millions of people are dependent on skillful, fair, informed, and ethical leadership. But rather than despairing in our collective shortcomings as a society, personally for me, I find hope in you, our graduates, the leaders of tomorrow. Your energy, your knowledge, your compassion, your ideas, your sense of right and wrong have been amply demonstrated during your time at AUS. And I have no doubt that you will continue to serve as points of light as you make your way out from here into the world. So just look at what you've done during your career at AUS. Sheikha Bador referred to some of the challenges that you've all dealt with earlier. And in doing that, you followed the path set by the prior 25 classes or so of students in our university. You developed rigorous study habits. They allowed you to meet the demands of a rigorous degree program. You also participated in extracurricular activities and service events. You had quality time with friends and family. It was a challenge, and you did it. But unlike most of those who went before you, you also were heavily impacted by the COVID pandemic. It demanded extra levels of adaptivity and resilience from all of you. So while navigating your college days is somehow on a different scale from the life and societal challenges that lie ahead for you, your success in navigating life so far is no small feat. You've shown your medal, and we're so happy and proud to honor you. So AUS, for its part, is going to be committed to further enhancing its academic programs, its scholarship, its societal contributions through research and thought leadership. We're excited about our future, and we will continue to faithfully serve you as proud alums. Our student population has grown in every college and at every degree level during your tenures at AUS. We will continue to innovate in development of new degree programs, with recent additions at every degree level and with more planned for the future. We're committing to impactful research happening across AUS. The Board of Trustees recently approved our first three university-wide research centers and more are on the way. And with all this development, our commitment to key pillars for AUS, the liberal education from which all of our students benefit and the commitment to the totality of the experience that our students have here are going to remain a distinctive feature of everything we do. It's with great humility and pride that I was able to join AUS as its seventh chancellor in October. And I'm so excited to be leading this great team of faculty and staff, which is dedicated to provide our students with the best experience possible. 
As new alums, I'm sure we can continue to count on you for help and wisdom, and I encourage, as the Sheikah did, all of you to remain engaged with us wherever your life takes you next. You should know that you're always welcome on this campus, and we really want you to think of it as home. So to conclude, and maybe to pick up a theme that the Sheikha had as well, one of the thoughts I'd like to most convey to our graduates is that commencement's a wonderful time for gratitude to your families, to your friends, to your teachers, both past and present, to everyone who has played a part, big or small, in the successes you've achieved to date. The great thing about a ceremony such as this is that many of these people are probably here with you today. Please take a moment to greet them, to recognize them, to thank them for the role they've played in your life and the roles they will continue to play in your story going forward. I know as a parent myself how proud days like this are for the family of a graduate. And I'm so happy for each of you, graduates and families, and pleased to share in this celebration of your accomplishments. So again, Thanks to everybody, and let's give the class of fall 2023 one more round of applause, please. So now, so now let's begin with the festivities. I'd like to begin by introducing the following members of the administration or who are here to celebrate with us. We have Dr. Mohammed El Tarhouni, Interim Provost and Chief Academic Officer. We have Dr. Varki Palathucharil, Dean of the College of Architecture, Art and Design. We have Dr. Mahmoud Anabtawi, Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. We have Dr. Narjas Bubakri, Dean of the School of Business Administration. <laughs> And we have Dr. Fadi Alul, Dean of the College of Engineering. We have Dr. James Griffin, Vice Provost of Undergraduate Affairs and Instruction. We have Dr. Lotvi Ramdan, Special Assistant to the Provost for Research and Graduate Studies. We have Mr. Ali Shwemi, uh, Executive Director of Enrollment Management. We have Ms. Linda Ataya, the Registrar. And we have Mrs. Kara Jones, the University Librarian. Let's give them all a round of applause. And now, it's a great honor for me to present our guest speaker. I'd like to welcome to the podium our, 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 our guest speaker, as I said, the United Nations Development Program Regional Goodwill Ambassador, <laughs> Lebanese endurance athlete, Mr. Michael Haddad. Your Royal Highness, esteemed guests, parents, class graduates, 2023. I'm very honored to be here, but before introducing myself, I hope in less than seven minutes I could share with you my story and give you two things. How to overcome the impossibility fa factor through transforming your brain set, mind, mindset based on my experience and how to position your success in the future. At the age of six, I suffered from a spinal cord injury due to a jet ski accident in Bahrain that left me completely paralyzed from the chest down. How do I stand? I wear an exoskeleton or an orthesis that holds my body in this upright position. How do I move? I simply carry myself, each step at a time. 
which is 107 kilos. I woke up to a reality, spinal cord injury, when the whole world, especially the medical, the medical world told me, Michael, it is impossible for you to stand up and walk. You have to adapt to your reality. Three words. Choice, faith, and determination. Choice, I chose to define my reality and to explore every single element that will give me my freedom. <laughs> faith gave me the power from inside. It gives you the power to go beyond everything. And determination, nothing comes easy. I'm here because of my failures. I'm here because it is that much that I fell. From a person who was framed that life, freedom of life, is, impos is an impossibility, I managed to transform my, my mindset, choice, faith, and determination. And I decided to stand up and walk and I decided to transform this ability from my body to a state of mind. I decided. Two, from a person who could not walk, who broke his own barriers, I found this ability in the society. I decided to walk because I realized that True success comes through giving to society. And it turned out that my walking, which is carrying myself thousands and thousands and thousands of times, is a contribution for science. The brain could do this. <laughs> SubhanAllah. If we decide to do this, the brain could do it. The brain could do it. From a person who could not walk, I decided to carry myself thousands and thousands and thousands of time to deliver three things. One, contribute to science. Two, environment, climate change, and inclusion. 16% of the population suffer from disabilities. 1.3 billion people around the world. Marginalized, directly affected by climate. Very, 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 very voices heard dimly in the world. And climate is killing all of us. So I decided to walk to contribute to science and to inspire people like you and decision makers to take action. In COP28, I took 1,000 steps two days ago. From the farm, Expo City Farm, till the woman pavilion. Symbolic walk. To tell the world that we must be heard that climate change is real, our food security is in danger. But if we have the leadership and the, deter the determination, we could even plant the desert. I'm preparing myself to elevate my voice, to cross 100 kilometers in the Arctic, to devote for science, taking my brain and the technology to the challenge and to tell the world that the Arctic is melting and this is affecting all of us. I don't want to take a lot of time because my time is limited, but to introduce myself, I am Michael Haddad. I am proud to be here with you. And if I, Michael Haddad, is standing here in front of you, 
telling you that with faith and determination, nothing is, is impossible. Imagine what you, standing on your feet, could do. Thank you so much. Wow, fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you. The Interim Provost and Chief Academic Officer, Dr. Mohamed El Tarhouni, will now recommend the candidates for degrees. Mr. Chancellor, it's my privilege to present the candidates for the master's degrees. Will the candidates for the master's degrees please rise? <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, on behalf of the faculty, I have the distinct honor of presenting to you the candidates for the master's degrees. Each of these candidates has completed the requirements of, the, of his or her graduate degree program. They have acquired knowledge and skills that will en enhance their professional growth and development, and I take pride in presenting them for their degrees. By authority of the Board of Trustees and on the recommendation of the faculty, I confer on you the master's degree that you have earned with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Ms. Lena Alkuri will now call the names of those who have received their master's degrees. As your name is called, please come forward to receive your diploma. Those who are not attending the ceremony today will receive their degrees in absentia. Congratulations to all of you. Before we start, and to capture the special moment that is so special to each and every one of you, we would like to ask our graduates to look at the photographer as they receive their diploma. College of Architecture, Art and Design. Graduates with a master's degree in urban planning. Sara Abdullah Al Matrushi. Khadija Tulkubra. Munira Abdelrahim Al Mullah. Dima Safwan Ashamaili. Khalfan Umran Shamsi. College of Arts and Sciences. Graduates with master's degrees in English, Arabic, English translation and interpreting, teaching English to speakers of other languages, and mathematics. Maryam Ali Al Belushi. Aya Hussam al-Din al-Shayyah. Tarab Atari. Aya. 
Natalia Pracharenka. Abdullah Hussein Kayani. Abrar Muhammad Ansar. Ramis Najib Al Junaybi. School of Business Administration. Graduates with master's degrees in accounting, business administration, and finance. Dial Al Malik. Muhammad Umar bin Khalid. Mira Lehdeidi Dermaki. Latifa Ahmed Al Mansouri. Maryam Farouk Sheikh. Maitha Abdullah Al Hashmi. Sobia Salim Mirza. Isam Majid Al Agha. Aijan Uzakeva. Al Maha Muhammad Ijaz. Shamma Abdullah Al Mazmi. Batul Khaldun Al Labadi. Hajar Al Muttaqi. Muhammad Hamdan Al Falahi. Ye Shi College of Engineering Graduates with Master's Degrees in Biomedical Engineering, Chemical Engineering, Civil Engineering, Construction Management, Electrical Engineering, Engineering Systems Management, and Mechatronics Engineering. Abdurrahman Yagmur. <laughs> Ahmed Yusri Abdul Fattah. Ahmed Samir Sharaf. Ula Al Saidi. Najihat Bashir. Ruba Darwish Al Bustami. Ali Yunus Adahan, Reza Davudi Far, Rinwa Ahmed Al Masri,
Ibrahim Shomope. Zubair Al Musayib. Khalid Rida Al Qirsh. Ahmed Majdi Shaheen. Faisal Ayman Al Hindi. Omar Salman Antoinette Saldania Nues <laughs> Aisha Rashid Ashamsi Maryam Ali Al Ahimar Dana Majid Al Qasim Tarifa Muhammad Al Kabi Zahra Lais Al Dawood Ruba Ahmed Al Muatasim Reem Haysam Talu Muhammad Hazim Hindi Muhammad Amjad Al Humsi Mr. Chancellor, it's my privilege to present the candidates for the undergraduate degrees. Will the candidates for the bachelor's degrees please rise? Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Chancellor, on behalf of the faculty, I now present to you the candidates for the bachelor's degrees. Each of these candidates has completed all the requirements of a bachelor's degree in their disciplines. The students graduating today have knowledge and skills to compete globally and to become responsible and effective contributors to their communities. They are a source of pride to their families and to the American University of Charter. By authority of the Board of Trustees and on the recommendation of the faculty, I confer on all of you the bachelor's degree that you have earned with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Ms. Lena al Khoury will now call the names of those who have received their, their bachelor's degrees. As your name is called, please come forward to receive your diploma. Those who are not attending the ceremony today will receive their degrees in absentia. Congratulations to all of you. College of Architecture, Art and Design. Graduates with bachelor degrees in architecture, design management, interior design, and visual communication.
Mariam Salah Lemheri. Dima Ziad Asaleh. Azza Khalid Ashaykh. Isra Salah Al Hamad, graduating cum laude. Mahmoud Nabil Farag. Shadin Hazim Mansour. Haya Ali Asada. Yasmin Firas Al Fanni. Rana Maher Al Madani. Koshi Hitten Shah. Nadia Altaf. Sara Fawzi Al Osman. Anna Niai. Noura Fahd Ashirawi. Afra Abdullah Lukbesi. Nayif Nasir Lamtayri. Rayan Samir Al Ashkar. Nada Midhat Muhammad. Lujain Tariq Al Kurdi. Arin Khalid Aid. Shams Jawad Al Khudr. Rahaf Hamzi Murad. Sanoj Sam. Azadin Nasim Abu Yusuf graduating cum laude. Maryam Muhammad Leflasi. <laughs> College of Arts and Sciences. <laughs> Graduates with bachelor degrees in biology, Chemistry, English Language and Literature, Environmental Sciences, International Studies, Mass Communication, Mathematics, Physics, and Psychology. Maha Abdurrahman Nahal. Rashid Marwan Al Ghazali, Shirin Tosif Ahmad, Dana Amari,
Maryam Mohammed Awad graduating summa cum laude. <laughs> Jana Aisa. <laughs> Mira Hisham Al Khatib. Zainab Abbas Al Khaja, Khawla Jamal Al Arshi, Aisha Al Yamahi. Muhammad Ali Amakhmakh. <laughs> Rial Fahim Al Qasimi. <laughs> Hamda Hamid Al Hashmi. Maryam Hatem Al Falasi graduating cum laude. <laughs> Najla Saif Ashamsi. <laughs> Rania Mahmoud Yadigari. Sayyida Safa Alim. <laughs> Alia Fatma Damji. <laughs> Fatma Muhammad Wasim. <laughs> Ghalia Jasim Al Mazmi. Aqila Munadala <laughs> Tala Terro graduating Magna Cum Laude <laughs> Sogand Hassan Ahari graduating Magna Cum Laude Amna Al Abbar Al Falasi <laughs> Taiba Arafat Al Maskari <laughs> Rahil Saad Al Mukheni Bahwan <laughs> Moza Ali Al Khayal Mira Shaheen Shaheen. <laughs> Sheikha Ali Suwaidi. <laughs> Hafsa Hamza Tekel. Rashid Ahmed Samaj. <laughs> Donna Abdurrahman Norman. <laughs> Husna Irfan. <laughs> Nashita Manaf Desai. Muhammad Salim Al Qasimi, (מקרן 
جود باسل قزاز جي وان لي ساهل شاتي تيانا نصر آيا عمران السوسي حلا بلال شعبان ندى حسام حسنية عنود مجدي مغربي شهد أحمد السكري graduating cum laude شهد معتز أبو أسعد موزة بنت سعيد المكتوم لطيفة عبد الله الجناحي إليازيا عبد الله الكثيري عمر العلاوي عمر محمد بن ديا graduating cum laude محمد أشرف جعفر سيد يحيى علي حميد يحيى الحلو أمل فاطمة حنيف حفصة أحمد أروب خرام عائشة محمد الشامسي فاطمة سيف السويدي ناصر عبد الله الشمري دانا عصام مسلماني فارون نجراج ضي إيهاب خليل ماريا الكحالي زينة إميل سمارة راشد سعيد النابودة عبد الفتاح محمد آل سعيد graduating cum laude
Furzin Kamran graduating summa cum laude. School of Business Administration graduates <laughs> graduates with bachelor's degrees in business administration and economics Sayida Maria Raza graduating summa cum laude. <laughs> Alia Muhammad Ashamsi. <laughs> Mustafa Shoaib Khan. Shams Ibrahim Asadi, Judy Ghassan Dairwan, Roha Arfan graduating magna cum laude. Khulud Salem Al Mazmi. Rahaf Muhammad Al Hamad, Dorsa Efsania, Shamma Muhammad Al Naimi, Zain Basil Mushtaha graduating magna cum laude. Bana Saeed Al Qawas graduating cum laude. Abrar Hani Abu Awaida. Maryam Ali Jafar. <laughs> Laith Aymad Nsiri. <laughs> Sultan Khalid bin Hadda. Nahyan Saeed Al Nahyan Fatma Sultan bin Buti Milad Shikhani Muhammad Ahmad Luta Ibrahim Abdul Hakim Al Sadiq, Abdullah Badr Al Marzuki, Sultan Saleh Abdul Hamid. Bita Muhammad Karima. Saleh Hamid Al Rifai, <laughs> Lina Bakir Darwish, <laughs> Reem Ibrahim Ahli, <laughs> Latifa Abdullah Zahri.
غاية خالد القاسمي عمر خالد عقل graduating cum laude حميد عبد الله الفلاسي عفرا أحمد غباش غاية حميد العبدولي سارة عبد الحميد جميل دانا غلاييني graduating cum laude Faisal Ghazi Al-Ali, graduating magna cum laude. Shahid Badr Al-Balushi. Hamid Ali Al-Falasi, graduating magna cum laude. هند عيسى سويدي نورا سعود المغيسيب شيماء أحمد الحمادي سيد إبراهيم النقبي نور أحمد عدي غادة وليد يوسف ريم هشام شهاب الدين Fatima Ferzana Jahvi Dushi graduating summa cum laude Sara Ahmad Bakhum عايشة خالد المرزوقي فهد جنيد إنجيلا عاطف أماتولا خزيمة آدم جيم محمد رميس بشير graduating سوما كم لاودي بنجامين بناي كورن Nishant Manjunat Iyer Shriya Prasanna Shati Sriparvati Sunel graduating cum laude Aileen Sara Daniel Shivram Subramoniam
محمد سعيد الهاملي خليفة أحمد الجابري عبد الله ناصر المهيري محمد عبد الله الملا عبد الرحمن مروان الحنفي graduating magna cum laude محمد جاسم العلي يوسف سامي عبد الله هند غانم السويدي عليا عبد الحكيم المرزوقي مرضية عبد الكريم عيشة سنة سولانجي عيشة ألطاف خازي نواف عبد العزيز العثيم عبد الخالق ثروة السكران باسل علاء هلال محمد أسعد عباس علي أحمد غلام فاروق بون سميث كوتينو مهدي قاسم مشتاقي راشد طلال بودبس سيف عدي الزراعي ركشان ناصر أحمد فيصل محمد الزراعي إبراهيم نائل الناصر العنود عمران الراوي ماريا أمير سيدهوم حوراء عبد الأمير محمد مهدي graduating cum laude نور محمد القدسي أسمى يوسف عبدي عبد الله نضال السوسي أمر جمشيد محمد زيان نزار
Amina Yasmin, graduating cum laude. Tuhur Butul, graduating magna cum laude. Pearl Francis Korean. Anam Fatima. Habiba Muhammad Azahabi. Sara Hisham Ayub. Muhammad Tahir Abdurazik. Fezan Ali Mustafa. Ali Muhammad Al Khatib graduating cum laude. It is an AUS tradition that at commencement, a member of the class speaks on behalf of fellow graduates. The student was selected through a competition amongst undergraduate students, and I'm proud to announce that the speaker for the class of fall 2023 is Ms. Miriam Mohammed al Falasi, graduating from the College of Architecture, Art and Design, and majoring in Design Management. Ms. al Falasi, the stage is yours. And good, good morning to Your Excellency Sheikh Abdur bin Sultan bin Hamad Al Qasmi, President of our University, Honorable Members of the Board of Trustees, uh, Chancellor Dr. Todd Lorson, Provost Dr. Mohammed Tarhouni, faculty, staff, our dear families, distinguished guests, and my dear fellow graduates. I am honored to welcome you all to the graduation ceremony of the class of fall 2023. Let us take a moment and reflect on our first day on, a on, a on AUS campus. We were a group of strangers anxiously walking the halls of AUS, getting lost as we tried to find our way to our first class amidst unfamiliar faces and buildings. Little did we know, that the most unfamiliar place to us would become the place where we met the people we value the most. We stepped into a diverse community, meeting people from different cultures, but our differences became bridges that formed a supportive community. We learned the values of commitment, dedication, and integrity. We now know that the heart of this university lies not just in its monumental architecture or exceptional academic programs, but in the very people who make this place what it is, the people of AUS. The founder of AUS, the president, administrators, staff, faculty, and students. Each one of you has brought life to this campus. You are the heart and soul of AUS. The highs and lows of our educational journey as the students of AUS are marked by our shared experiences. From the late night conversations in the library as we worried about our submissions, to scheduled group study sessions with our friends every midterm season, or pep talks you never knew you needed from your friends after finishing your exams. These are the memories that shaped and made us the individuals we are proud to be today. Memories of the little things that weren't so little. Like when winter finally came and the first drops of rain meant convincing your professor to have the class outside. Or when you knew it would be a good day when you found front row parking as you rushed the class. I cannot forget the moment we received the email that our classes would resume face to face. Everyone was so happy to be back and reunited with the people of AUS our invaluable support system. 
My time at AUS as a design management student taught me a valuable lesson. I learned that people should be at the heart of every step along the design process. It became clear to me, and this instilled in me the core value I hold dearly, empathy. It became clear to me that my success depended on human connection and the understanding of my surroundings. It taught me the art of seeing things through different lenses and to appreciate the different journeys people go through. Each one of us here had a unique path that led us to be the proud graduates we are today, with different setbacks and unexpected shifts in our lives over the past four years. We adapted, excelled, and found strength within these challenges. We grew not only academically, but also as resilient people guided by our passion. We stand here eager to unfold what the future holds for us as we carry these treasured lessons to create more remarkable experiences in the future. Dear fellow graduates, today marks the start of a bright future ahead of us, inshallah. A future that will unfold the strength of the people of AUS. The strength the people of AUS carry resonates with the power of the ripple effect concept. Each of you possesses this power. With every kind word you say and every hand you lend, you inspire, you heal, and you uplift the people around you, resulting in count countless ripples with endless impact. The ripples you create can travel far and wide with everyone you encounter. If you think, if you think these actions seem like small gestures in the grand scheme of things, the truth lies in the change your actions can create in people's lives. Never underestimate the profound power within your actions. Even one inch of goodness can turn into a mile that touches many lives along the way. Before we leave this hall, I would like to thank the people of AUS who have made this all possible through their dedication and leadership. I would like to express our sincere gratitude to our founder, His Highness, Sheikh Dr. Sultan bin Mohammed Al Qasimi. member of the Supreme Council of the UAE and ruler of Sharjah, and to Your Excellency, Sheikh Abdur bin Sultan Al Qasimi. <laughs> your presence today and every day brings us immense joy. It is our honor to share this moment of pride with you. Thank you both for creating an exemplary educational environment. You truly are inspiring leaders to all of us. our mentors and professors. Thank you for guiding us with your wisdom, challenging our comfort zone, and encouraging us to take a leap even when we were in doubt. And to the people closest to our hearts, our backbone and our support system, our parents and families, No amount of thank yous will ever come close to expressing our gratitude for you. You have created a safe space for us to tackle any challenges we have faced, giving us advice even when it was hard to hear sometimes, and standing by our side through thick and thin. And to the people whom we celebrate today, my dear fellow graduates, thank you for making AUS feel like home. AUS will forever remain in our hearts as a place that taught us the meaning of staying true to who we are, welcoming people from around the world, and a place we can always call our second home. If you look around the hall today, you will notice that AUS gave us the chance to meet some of the most kind-hearted and determined people we know. And may the ripple effect of the people of AUS be felt far and wide. I wish you all bright and prosperous futures. Congratulations to the class of fall 2023. College of Engineering.
graduates with bachelor's degrees in chemical engineering, civil engineering, computer engineering, computer science, electrical engineering, industrial engineering, and mechanical engineering. Mahmoud Amr Ibrahim. Usama Jawad Al Khudr. Adil Faisal Al Omar. Ahmed Amr Hassan. Hassan Khalid Al Rashid. Tasneem Mudar Ghazal. <laughs> Suraya Usama Garawi. <laughs> Raneem Jamil Ghattas. <laughs> Hur Jasim Al Ansari. Naila Khalid Adosari. <laughs> Rafal Ibrahim Habib. <laughs> Gaya Marwan Azarauni. Sheikha Abdullah Azaabi graduating cum laude. <laughs> Maryam Ahmed Al Falasi. <laughs> Shamma Jasim Al Mazmi. <laughs> Fatma Jasim Malak. Mahra Faisal Al Naimi. <laughs> Moza Ahmed Suwedi. <laughs> Shahid Abdurrahman Al Zarauni. <laughs> Kalsam Ali Al Muhari. Kamar Adil Sbai. <تصفيق> Noor Hussam Hassaniya. <تصفيق> Yara Abdul Majid Siraj Din. Faris Ahmed Al Ali. <تصفيق> Moza Jumaa Zaabi. <تصفيق> Shahid Khamis Al Hosani. <تصفيق> Khawla Taha Al Hashimi. Ishrat Jahan Erin. Amani Ahmed Leblushi. Mariam Adil bin Suleiman.
Mariam Abdullah Sheba, graduating magna cum laude. Farah Adli Watsi, graduating magna cum laude. Micaela Rodriguez Maxumbol. Saman Khan. Mahalakshmi Mahadevan. Mariam Muhammad Sayah. Yumna Aymad Din Anin graduating cum laude. Kareem Sadiq. Imam Saeed Suleiman graduating cum laude. Mahmoud Wael Sarhan. Taha Ayman Arraj'i. Bilal Abdel Jalil Al Haj. Yasser Khamis Al Jaran graduating summa cum laude. Faris Iyad Suwan. Muhammad Aisa Samha. Leith Tillu and Nashawati graduating cum laude. Omar Hussam Abd Dayim graduating summa cum laude. تقي الله ياسر المحلاوي محمد عمرو إمبابي مدحت طارق أبو زيد Ahmed Basim Mustafa. <laughs> Maryam Mkadmi graduating magna cum laude. <laughs> Lujain Usama Khalil. Araf Zada. Abdullah Salim Baghazi. Saleh Hani Asuhebi. Ahmed Hikmat Abu Shamli. Samir Samir Hihi. Basil Bashar Al Abyad. Mu'tasim Muhammad Ghanim. Amir Ali Ahmad.
عمر خالد السيد سيف سعيد الجميل graduating cum laude نادر نصير أحمد زياد طارق يوسف عمار محمد غنيم محمود عصام عبد الودود مهرا محمد الرمسي شهد علي السويدي عائشة حسن المرزوقي سارة عبد الله بخش سارة نبيل السويدي مريم مبارك النقبي ريم عبد السلام الشحي شما محمد آل مالك شيخة عادل الحبتري مريم عيسى المهيري مريم سليم خان حصة سلطان السويدي نورا سلطان الغفلي علا ماجد علي لين سامي العلمي رهف عبد اللطيف القاطوع بلال محمد طحان لجين عماد عوض إلاف عبد الباسط البستكي آمنة خالد سعد نجلاء صبحي أبو كويك نوران وسام العاني روان غسان حامد شهد فالح عبيد مايا حسن الحاج حسين graduating magna cum laude يسر خالد المناصير
مصطفى أحمد البزاز سندس حسام عامر كالي ماري بيرسيفل جراديويتينغ سوما كوم لاودي محمد جنيد ليث ميثم الخير الله جراديويتينغ سوما كوم لاودي فاطمة هشام حمود graduating magna cum laude نور الصديق الطاهر graduating cum laude أريج محمد قاد عبد الله راشد الشامسي يوسف محمد البحيري سلطان ياسر النعيمي عيسى ياسر النعيمي حامد عمار هاجي عبد الله يوسف الخان محمد جنيد خان حمدة طلال بالهول أهانس كالاجيان محمد إبراهيم حمد جمال العوضي عبد الله أحمد أبو شهلة graduating cum laude إميل فادي صليبي فيصل محمد درويش خالد شمس نفيد محمد علي يوسف أحمد المملوك حسن علي عمران عبد الله باسل جمال ميكائيل اسلم محمد سعد جافيد graduating cum laude كارن ديبتي جاكوب graduating magna cum laude
شيخة سالم آل علي يوسف بسام graduating magna cum laude غنا علي حلال graduating cum laude هند محمد الفلا مرزي ميرا منصور السويدي مازن صالح الطويل إيمان شهزاد graduating cum laude Roshni Matter Samart Rai Hassan Sajid graduating cum laude Ajzil Muhammad Hussein Muhammad Farhan Ashwati Santosh Nair Marwa Tunsi Celia Rita Jason Khalifa Saeed Ashamsi Khalid Muhammad Al Hashimi Ibrahim Muhammad Al Hamadi, Muhammad Abdullah Al Awadi, Haris Abdul Nasir Al Mitfa. Aisa Hassan Shebani. محمد عبد الله الحمودي جلال عبد الرحمن الكعبي خالد ابراهيم البستكي Abdullah Ali Qasim graduating cum laude. Ahmad Muhammad Al Gaud. Muhammad Hlal Al Ghafali. Hassan Ali Al Asi, Muhammad Hashim Al Zarani, Ali Tahir Sulaiman, Muhammad Hisham Khalifa. Ahmad Ali Burhema Hamid Ali Al Mullah graduating magna cum laude Pierre Aizat Abd Sayyid
راشد أحمد الملا عامر علي الجسمي راشد طارق ديماس محمد جاسم الكوخردي يوسف معاذ ملحم يوسف تامر شنابلي Kumam Al Zagim graduating cum laude. Ghalib Ghazi Awad. Shihab Ahmed Sayyid graduating cum laude. Ibrahim Hassan Safarini Rao Shahzeb Khan Muhammad Mustafa Adabah Bardia Farzen Bahreman Alia Omar Al Matrushi Andrew Zakka Saif Cesar Samara Hind Ali Al Gaywani Aisha Jabeen Khan Saif Abdel Nasser Rahal Muhammad Mustafa Shalabi Yasser Samir Akila graduating cum laude Zaid Yasser Azubaydi graduating cum laude Muhammad Shafiq Daas Rand Mahmoud Asmar Kermil Amir Al Ashab Zaid Amjad Hirzallah Muhammad Yusuf Atwa Yusuf Zahid Abdul Muqit Abdul Manan Abdullah Nasir Khouri Muhammad Hamad Daniel Khan Diab Ahmed Barham
محمد زكريا همت معين عبد الستار صابري نور محمد جمال محمد يوسف فيراني جراجويتين كم لاودي علي أحمد حنيف جوزيف ماثيو راجت رافندرا بهارغافا محمد طارق سعيد حسن يحيى الحلو محمد غسان الأصطل محمد باسل إياد شاهين graduating magna cum laude عمر بهجت عبد الحميد نور الدين على الدين عبد العليم محمد علي عبد الرحمن أكمل عبد الفتاح graduating cum laude Congratulations. I think it's now time to move the tassels. So I now ask our graduates to move the tassels on their caps from the right to the left as an indication that they have now graduated. Congratulations. So we have one. We, we have one last bit of business we would like to do. I, I think we would all agree that we had a truly inspirational guest speaker today, Mr. Michael Haddad. And we, we have a, a, a small gift of thanks we'd like to present you, and uh, Sheikh Abadour will do that on behalf of AUS and all of us. Thank you. On behalf of Her Highness, the Board of Trustees, and the faculty and staff, I wish our graduates good luck and Godspeed. 
I would like to request the guests to remain seated until Her Highness and the stage party leave. Congratulations. <laughs>